Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on step response of an RC circuit. And here we'll be discussing example 7.6 from Mr. Nilton's book. Now, a student has sent me a question which is similar to this example. So I'm, I'm solving this example and hope that the student will benefit from uh, this example. So before we start the question, let's recall this uh, diagram I have been uh, using in several of my videos, the concept of time. This is zero time, this is where we are now. Before this is called T less than zero. And this is a steady state condition. So like this switch, it is on the left hand side and it is there for a very long time. Then at t is equal to zero, it is switched to, to the right hand side. So when it is switched to the right hand side, t greater than zero time starts. But this is slightly confusing. So I have divided it into two parts. The first part I'm calling it t greater than zero. And the second part I'm calling t greater greater than zero. Now t greater than zero is the transient part so if there, there's a capacitor, the capacitor starts charging and it charges like this. And you must have read it that it takes five tau or five R C to charge. And after that, the T greater greater than zero time starts or we call it T infinity time when the capacitor is fully charged and it is in the steady state condition now. Okay, with this background, we'll also discuss two uh, points which some students get confused. And that is a circuit with no source, no source after t greater than zero. Now this circuit has a source, but at t is equal to zero, we are opening this, that means this is no more effective. So this circuit is uh, what is after t greater than zero. So this circuit will be called source free circuit. And these are the two formulas for RC and RL circuit. We calculate the voltage in case of a capacitor and we can calculate current in case of an inductor. Now there is another type that is even if the switch is open like this here, this is a source, this is a source. When the switch is open, this source is out. But there is an, a source present in this circuit, even after the switch is open. So this is uh, called the step response circuit. It is better that we call it circuit having source after t greater than zero. And for this type of circuit, this is the formula that is used v at any time for the rc or the capacitor voltage across capacitor at any time is v infinity then this is v zero minus v infinity e raised to the power minus t over tau now tau is the time constant we'll study this and similarly for the rl circuit we have similar equation for the current i Okay, now let's see the question. This is the question, we have two source here. The switch in the circuit has been in position one, like this, this position for a long time. That means the capacitor is fully charged, steady state condition, the capacitor is fully charged. At t is equal to zero, the switch moves to position two. So it has moved to position two at t is equal to zero. Then this circuit is out. And this is what is left. What we need to find is V0T. Actually, V0 is the voltage across the capacitor. So we have to find V0T for any time T greater than or equal to zero. And part B, we have to find this current I, IT for T greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so the first part, and as we had discussed that we'll use this equation to uh, find Vt. So 
So first of all, t less than zero, the switch is here, this circuit is uh, not effective. The capacitor is getting charged by this circuit. Now the important point is, this will be charged by how much voltage? Will it be 40 volt? No, because this is, there's a divider circuit here. So whatever is the voltage across the 60K will be the voltage to which this capacitor will charge. So let's find out this voltage. I'm calling it V60K. So total voltage divided by total impedance multiplied by 60K, that was 30 volt. So voltage across this is 30 volt. So the capacitor will also charge to a maximum of 30 volt. We call this V0 minus because it is before the uh, zero time starts. But there is a very important property in case of a capacitor, the voltage cannot change instantaneously. So whatever was the voltage here, if you flip the switch, it does not change instantaneously. It takes some time to uh, for the capacitor to charge or discharge whatever. So that means that whatever was V0 minus will same be at V0 plus because there is hardly any difference between the two times. And for generalized, we call it V0 simply. So V0 is 30 volt. Okay, so we have just noted this, that V0 is 30 volt. This one we have found. And now for T greater than zero. Okay, so we are now at T greater than zero. That means the switch should move right like shown here. Now this circuit is no more effective. But as we discussed, there are two times in T greater than zero. One is the transient time and the other is the steady state time. So let's first talk of the transient time. So in the transient time, as we had discussed earlier, that the capacitor will charge or it will discharge. So this is the transient time. And how much time it takes to charge or discharge, you must have learned it is called phi tau. So this is that tau. Tau is the time constant, which is equal to R7N multiplied by the capacitor in case of a RC circuit. Now, how do we find R7N? This was the circuit. Uh, you Again, you should recall that to find R7N, we short circuit the voltage source or we put the voltage source zero. So we'll put the voltage source zero. This is our circuit. And another point that to calculate, to see this uh, uh, resistance, we put our I here. And now if you look, these two are in parallel and that the parallel is in series with 8K. So we can say that R7N is 8K plus 40 parallel 160 and solving, we find it to be 40K. So R7N we have found, T is known 0.25. So the time constant is R7N into C it comes to be 0 0.01 second. Okay, so the transient uh, period, uh, we only find uh, the tau. And now we go to the third step, and that is the steady state. So in steady state, the capacitor will be fully charged again by this voltage source now. Whatever was charged initially in this, may add or may get subtracted by this, but we are only concerned with this, how much will this charge? Okay, again, if relating with this diagram, we are somewhere here, where the steady state condition is starting, the capacitor is charging, and the battery is supplying one current in this loop and the other current in the capacitor charging loop. Now here again, once the capacitor gets charged, it, it becomes open circuit. 
no current flows through the uh, uh, I branch or eight, um, 8 kilo branch. Therefore, whatever is the voltage here, the same voltage will charge this capacitor. So, important point is that we find this voltage. Now, because of the sign change, the, it is negative up and positive down, there might be some confusion as to what will be the uh, sign of this. So, first of all, we know that the, wherever the current touches, or first of all, the current moves from the positive, goes like this, and wherever it touches, it becomes positive, positive. And we uh, just uh, now need to find this. The capacitor will charge to a voltage value equal to V160. And if we call this current I1, then we have to write the KVL equation. We're starting from the negative, negative 75, then plus I1 into 160, I1 into 160, plus I1 into 40K. And from here, we find I1. And then we, now this will multiply I1 with 160 to get the voltage here. So V160 is I1 into 160 is 60 volt. Okay. This voltage is now 60 volt. By the way, you could have also found this by voltage deviation rule, but uh, I'm just avoiding voltage deviation rule because there might be a confusion about the sign. Okay, so V, uh, this is 160. And so the capacitor will also be charging by the same 60 volt negative up, positive down. But the voltage sign or V0 sign is opposite, positive up and negative down. Therefore, our answer for V infinity, we'll call this V infinity, will be with a negative sign. So V infinity will be negative 60 volt. This is an important point. Okay, and now we plug in all the values that we have got in this equation. Uh, v infinity, then V zero, then V infinity, and tau. And so simplifying, we get this equation as our equation number one. This is the voltage equation. So part one done. Then part two, we have to find the current, this current I, or t greater than zero, we have the voltage. We uh, we found this one, and will the current? This current you see can passing through the capacitor. That will the current through the capacitor. So we'll apply this formula of current through the capacitor is I C D V D T, and for we will plug in this value. So plugging in the value and uh, plugging in the value of C. Now taking differentiation, differentiation of the constant will be zero. 90 will come out. E raised to the power minus 100 T minus 100 will also come out. I hope you know how to differentiate it. So 90 and minus 100 come out and uh, remaining is E raised to the power minus 100 T. And when we multiply all this, we'll have a negative 2.25 10 raised to the power minus 3 e raised to the power minus 100 t. Now this we can write in milliampere. So minus 2.25 e raised to the power minus 100 t milliampere. So this is the second answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. And to the student requesting, the only thing you have to do is just change the values of the resistances to what is given in your question. You will get the correct answer. Thank you.